Here, what do you think of this? That's clean, bro. Vancouver bound. That's sweet. You want to tell me again what you just did? Oh, we just bought a 335 behind for the camera, man. E92. Yeah, yeah, I will. Send me some good pictures of the front, then I can get that drawn up for you. You want to say hi to my friend? So it's uh, 7.49 a.m. right now. Just got back from the gym with my sister. I just ordered some new um, sample shirts last night. Oh yeah, I gotta fill out the registration form for, for Driven Vancouver, so I'll do that right now. And then uh, Dave and I were wanting to order some new... Uh, die casts today as well. Yeah, I also came up with a new uh, banner design last night as well. I was gonna try to make some uh, samples of those and see how those look. I want to try a 25 inch uh, width and a 20 inch width for now and we'll see how those do. They might be kind of similar in dimension to like these ones, like the racing team banners, so we'll, uh, we'll see how those do. Yeah, so I just finished making some uh, the new banner design. Got this 25 inch banner. Obviously, we wouldn't manufacture them this shape. They'd be cut to a square because I had to try not to uh, waste material. So, I also made a bunch of these. I think there's about 260 of these. Most of these are uh, just to be given away. I'm just setting up the uh, cutter to make some more banners and some more uh, sample stickers for giving out. So, yeah, I'll load this up into the cutter. So this is the first sample print hoodie that we ordered. The quality is not very good, so we took it off right away. The hoodie is really nice, but we were not very happy with this. Here's like the sample shirt we ordered. And it's been through the wash a couple times. A little worn, but definitely good, yeah. We tried a different supplier that offered embroidery, so these are like the premium quality hoodies. These ones have an inside label. And yeah, embroidered front. Check the back. The screen print quality is actually a lot better, which is really nice. Even like these really fine lines, still so much better than like this. And then something like this, it's a bit higher quality blank. I've got a friend that screen printed this, and so we're hoping to maybe collaborate on uh, some clothing sometime soon. No gaps or anything, so this is it's definitely turned out so much nicer than some of the other ones in B. Pretty cool to uh, offer some stuff that we screen printed ourselves. Before we started Rising Combini 2 actually, I was working on another project that was uh, trying to start a clothing brand. That was before Dave and I actually started making decals as well. So we kind of had the experience from that too. So we kind of knew what we were getting into with starting some like graphic design and pushing out some like automotive related clothing. So this other stuff was a bit generic, a bit more mainstream. We're trying to focus more on integrating uh, Japanese culture into automotive. They are connected, but you don't really see a lot of elements of, like, I guess, authenticity. I, I would like to see a lot more of it, so why, why not try to uh, do that myself, you know? Yeah, so here's a couple of other designs. Um, so the pixelated R32 that uh, I actually designed like a body kit for it and then made it like, pixelated. And then this shirt with the S13. I have a couple of other designs that I made for this project, but they, they never got produced because this project never really took off. I wasn't at the forefront of it, so I figured I might as well just take uh, matters into my own hands and start my own thing. We, we had something going and decided to kind of integrate that because we had the experience and uh, so far we've been pushing it and people have been really uh, excited about it too. We've also got these flags uh, with our website on it. We just finished registering for the Driven Show in Vancouver and yeah, I'm super excited about going out there and actually having a booth now.